I don't think I've got an everyday life. My adventures, my work, and my life, it's, it's a seven day a week, 24 hour day. Because I was brought up in the Highlands of Scotland, I was born in the outdoors, so you know, mountains and lakes and forests and rivers were on my doorstep, it was my playground. I do a lot of stuff, admittedly. I do a bit of skydiving, climbing, mountaineering, kayaking. I've been riding motorbikes for about 17 years. I liken it to jumping out of an airplane in the sense that it's one of those ultimate expressions of freedom. But I always, you know, want to be either a soldier or Jacques Cousteau. You know, I never thought about having a normal job. It never even occurred to me. Dive is what I do best. There was a dive in Greenland where we ended up diving by this iceberg in the middle of the Arctic Ocean, crystal clear water. And because of the extra nutrients you get in the cold waters of the poles, suddenly these little tiny plankton were, you know, almost as big as your head, huge things. And it was like diving under a microscope and it just blew me away, this sort of alien life that was swimming around this iceberg. The most precarious situation I've ever found myself in. I mean, I've diffused bombs out in Iraq. I've had part of my breathing system fail on me when I've been solo cave diving. The furthest I've been at my comfort zone most recently was when I jumped on a plane over the Arizona desert above 28,000 feet. Because at the time, I was not a very accomplished skydiver. I get asked a lot if I feel scared during these, uh, these projects. And the answer is yes, but not during them. <laughs> 